Welcome Forex Fortune Hunters, Tom Wilmot speaking. Today we're going to move away a little bit from the Forex world, the currency world, and we're going to take a look at how a, a number of our indicators and templates might work on other platforms. Today we're focused on Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Fidelity has really good uh, options execution and great ex execution, floor execution for stocks as well. And I thought it might be helpful to see how our programs translate into this world. Active Trader is not easy to use, so that's the reason we're going to spend some time on it today. So hold on to your hat, welcome aboard, and we'll get started in just a minute. Okay, let's see if we can make some sense of these candlesticks on the screen. I hope it's not too narrow for you. I used a three-minute chart. We could make it a little bigger if we wanted, and that would obviously, I think, spread out the candles a little bit. So if you were to come to this area here, we could conceivably put six minutes in here and just see what happens and apply that to the chart. And sure enough, it's, it sweetens it up a little bit, gives us a little thicker candle so we can see it more clearly. I like a three and six kind of uh, interval because it fits evenly in the 390 minutes that are in each uh, uh, each uh, New York Stock Exchange session. In any event, uh, what happened here was that this was the Caterpillar tractor chart, and uh, you can enter any symbol in this area here. I added cat along with apple and fang stocks as well as spy. And so if you click on one, uh, for example, uh, any of them, Facebook, let's just take a look. It quickly switches over and gives us what we need to know. But let's come back to cat. And this morning, uh, like, like every day, there were rumors about how uh, the Chinese trade deal was going to just take over and be finished and everything was going to be hunky-dory again. So as a result, here was the overnight bar here. And actually, I'll use this opportunity to draw a vertical line here on the chart at this point here. And that's actually, then I'll thicken it up actually by right-clicking on it here, I hope. Let's see, there it is. Let's thicken it so you can see it clearly. We'll come down to here. We'll apply that. The, the, there are hatch lines, uh, cross hatch lines on the chart, but this, uh, this one is the overnight line. So this would have been four o'clock yesterday afternoon. And as you can see, we gapped up this morning and then rumor, uh, rumor news kind of faded. And while we went back and recaptured the high again, we did fall off toward the close. Okay. Having said that now, uh, we can go over here to settings. And you can see that there are a number of other ways you can do it. You can choose candlestick, uh, any of the uh, pricing axes, um, mathematical formulas you want. You can change your colors on your candles if you'd like to and so forth. Uh, showing the previous close uh, and volume chart. Now, if we were to click show extended hours, that's pretty helpful uh, as you're headed into the 930 hour to see what's been happening pre-market. And so we'll click on that. We'll apply that to the chart, and you can see right in this area here, that especially as, as the, uh, uh, the morning uh, wore on, we had a big move to the upside, but you could see in the pre-market, uh, these were the trades that took place. We don't need them now, so let's uh, save some room on our screen. We'll come back to settings, and we'll unclick this and get rid of it. And we'll apply the chart. So now, uh, once again, because Caterpillar is very sensitive to the Chinese issues and tariffs and so on and so forth, that would have been the reason for the big push upward. But the purpose of this particular video is also to give you an idea how our indicators are working. Uh, we love multiple moving averages. And anybody, uh, by the way, please come over to fxfortunehunter.com. There are a number of videos and, and posts available to you there that explain all about our indicators, as well as the book we did uh, a couple years ago uh, that's on Amazon Kindle, which is called The, uh, the Amazing Sea Lander Flytrap Forex Trading Strategy. And uh, although it's a crazy title, it has some very good fundamental information about trading the Forex. So what we're going to do now is to move some of our averages and our, our basic indicators over into this platform. It isn't quite as fancy as it would be if we were over in uh, Forex.com with MetaTrader or even on TradeStation. 
but it will uh, do. And if you're in uh, Fidelity and you want to do some trading, this would be perfectly adequate to meet your needs. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to hit the draw button. If you hit indicators, there will be a whole bunch of them, and you can toggle from side to side to add them uh, to your uh, to your uh, chart. You can see all sorts of bizarre things down here, a rune and so forth and so on. But we don't want to do that. We want to come back here, and we've come back. I have on my chart already the RSI, and I'll talk to you a minute about that. Uh, but bottom line is, let's put in a moving average here with uh, the uh, with the uh, indicator line and we're going to use an exponential moving average and once we do that it's added to your chart right here and it's given a default value of 20. Now in order to modify or delete that moving average on your chart what we want to do is left click on it on this bar right here and then it comes up to modify delete or add another indicator. We're going to modify this uh, we're going to uh, make it a 24 EMA. That's my basic uh, back to the uh, mean kind of indicator. I like it a little darker blue than that, but I don't know if we can make it uh, darker blue. Let's see what we got going on here. And we're going to make that line a little thicker. This one here. And we can apply it. And sure enough, there we have our 24 EMA. And I think you can see why I like it so much. We revert to the mean. We revert to the mean. We revert to the mean. Likewise here, and so forth. Now, I also like multiple moving averages. So let's add another one just to show you how it's done. Indicator. Uh, exponential moving average. This is all very simple stuff. You don't have to be real smart to do this. Modify. And yet it's tremendously helpful uh, in terms of analyzing the charts and patterns. And we're going to make this one actually a 12. Uh, and we're going to make this a yellow. Uh, that's my standard approach to this. We're going to apply. Now notice also not only the reversion of the mean, but also when the uh, 12 is above the 24, you're in pretty good shape in terms of heading higher. Likewise, as we came into the close this afternoon after 2 p.m., we fell off a little bit with this crossover. Now, in Forex.com, I have a medallion indicator that actually shows and prints a medallion when this crossover occurs here and here. And if we back up, by the way, if you left-click on the chart, you see that horizontal double arrow. If we back up over here, we can see this was a crossover to the downside, a pullback to the man's pullback, and down we went. So uh, it's very interesting how these uh, very basic moving average lines uh, do help us. Okay, now one other quick thing here. Remember, or, or perhaps if you haven't seen the first video, if you want to make this uh, customized for your view, uh, let's take a look. First of all, if you move over here, you can see there's a vertical line right here between these two little arrows. And as soon as you get your cursor on it, you left click, and then you can drag that back this way, and that'll give you some more margin on the left. If you move up here, there it is up in this area, moving down. Sometimes it's a little hard to get it, but if you're right above this line, which is the difference between pane 1 and pane 2, down here we go, there's that line, let's move it up, and you can see that we've, uh, we've made our adjustment so it's a little easier to view. Okay, so those are some of the very first basic things that we wanted to take care of in this video. And what I'd like to do now is rather than adding a, a number of others, let's go down here to RSI. We're going to modify this. Notice each time I try to put in an overbought and oversold band in the middle between 55 and 45 on the RSI. I use the very basic 14 period uh, RSI. Uh, that seems to work well for me. We have a yellow color, and the bands are going to be uh, this uh, cyan blue. Now we've applied it. Notice that when we pulled back and touched the mean, we moved into this band, but we held, and then we headed higher. Now notice here, when we couldn't hold this band, we fell below it. And that's, although it wasn't a dramatic drop on Caterpillar into the close, this is what you see uh, happened here. So that's why I kind of like that visual confirmation with the RSI. Now, up in this area, if we wanted to just save this very simple 
let's see what we want to do. We want to save this chart pattern. So if we wanted to change to another another uh, um, investment instrument, we could. We, we've got a number of options here. Save the chart settings, make it my default chart. I don't necessarily want to do that. I do want to save the indicators and so on. And if you had an earnings event, for example, on a daily chart, it would save that. Uh, save time frame and frequency. So now we want to change this. We don't want it to be the same as TH double. We're going to make it a uh, simple crossover just for fun. Okay. And I'll even put 12, 24 just so we can know what the hell is happening. Okay. Now let's take a look here. If we wanted to see this up in this area, notice now we are clicked on this one. If we want to delete it, we can do that uh, ash can right here. But now I'd like to show you uh, the number, the additional MM uh, multiple moving averages I use as my default. Let's click on this one. It's as simple as that. And sure enough, you can see uh, how I've uh, organized my work in this way. Uh, so that's it, and it even gives you the time period that you're looking for, okay? So this is going to be a two-day chart, and it's going to be a frequency of five minutes. Let's switch that back now to the three-minute. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'll make it the six, actually, so you can see it. It'll be thick and clear, and you can see now we've had this move, this gap up overnight, pull back, pull back right into the bands after the opening, then going back up. Although our bands are pointed upward and we are in a buy zone, we want to be uh, careful to take a look at this and, uh, and, and make sure that uh, we're trading with the trend with those multiple moving averages. And just so as you know, they are a 20, 24, a 16, and the 12 that we put on our previous chart. And then I add this, 20, uh, this 47 EMA. I like to use that one right there as kind of a longer term uh, change of uh, change of direction signal line. Notice that once our bands moved above it, that's when we began to take off, and we came into the close kind of in an iffy situation here. Okay, now just quickly, what I'd also like to show you uh, before we move on uh, to our close here, and we'll come back with another video to show how this all works in practice, but let's take a look now at options, and if we'd like to have an options chain here, uh, very simple stuff for uh, our cat uh, situation. This is a blank at, at the beginning. If we were to click on this, we could click here. And now it would be cat because it's linked back to the chart that's on the basic situation. Now we have calls and puts. If you just like to see calls, click on this one. Here are all your weekly uh, and monthly opportunities, March 15th, for example, and the weeklies in the middle, uh, as options have become so popular as a way to uh, as a way to really leverage your investment uh, uh, portfolio. Uh, you don't have to put in eight billion dollars for Amazon in order to have a chance at playing with that uh, stock. In our next video, we're going to come back and take a look at a number of the other indicators and drawing tools to see how we can enter trades. And I hope you will subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that alarm bell next to the subscribe button and you will be alerted at our next video. And I promise it will be interesting to see how the Fibonacci's in particular will help us to uh, really enter the trade at the right time and exit with the correct uh, profit target. Meanwhile, what we're going to do here is we're going to say there are some other options for us here. If you have a two screen environment and you left click on the, and right, sorry, right click on this window anywhere, you can see float window. So you could conceivably move this off this basic screen and move it onto your second monitor, wherever that is. If you want to come back to it so it doesn't get lost, you can dock it again and so on. And if you downgrade it here, you can come over to Tools in Use, and you can see here is our chart, our option chain calls. You can get rid of a uh, duplication right here, and you can see what your positions would be, and, and this is my joint account. And uh, obviously, there are a number of other opportunities that you can add to this particular thing. So it would be very easy now to come back and add that option chain if it's missing. And there you go. You can play around with that at your, at your convenience. 
Okay, guys, that's it for this video. We've gone a little long, 14 minutes, but I hope it's helpful to you. And once again, please like our video and subscribe. If you have any other questions, please uh, check in at fxfortunehunter.com, and we'll be happy to uh, either uh, share with you some of our indicator settings, uh, add some indicators if you need them for forex.com, and uh, keep you trading with the trend. So thanks for joining us. And now, let's get some profits.